brothers and sisters, I would encourage you that if you have not done so already, before you go to bed, take today's gospel reading again and read it prayerfully and slowly. Because there's a sense in which the reading challenges how we see life ordinary. I mean, if you hear things like, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, it doesn't sound right. I should love those who love me. And if you're not good to me, why should I be good to you? But the word of God always challenges us to be like Christ Jesus. So I want you to go back home. Take today's reading from Luke chapter 6, verses 27 to 38, and read it again prayerfully. And pray that you can put this into practice. This afternoon, my emphasis is on the first reading. As Paul writes to the Colossians and gives them the tits bits for Christian life, he tells them, be thankful. And he doesn't say it only once, he says it in three different ways. Always be thankful is the first one he says. Then he says, with gratitude in your heart, sing psalms and hymns and inspire songs to God. That is the second way he frames it. And then the last one he says, never they say or do anything except in the name of our Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. So in three different ways, Paul talks about the need for us to be thankful. I'm sure there is a story we have heard over and over again, but I can't resist telling it. Of somebody who had an excursion and found himself in his dream in heaven. Then he passed the first gate and the angels were busy working 24 hours. So he was curious and asked, what is happening here? And the response was, oh, the angels are sorting out the petitions and the prayer requests that come from earth. He said, oh, okay. Then they went to the other room, and the angels there were sleeping. There was little work to be done. So he asked, why are they sleeping? And he said, he was told, this is where they sort out the prayers of thanksgiving that comes from the earth. And because there are so few, the angels here don't have work to do. My dear friends, are we thankful to God enough? Just look at when you go into prayer. Do you spend time thanking God? And as will tell us we can do prayers of thanksgiving by singing hymns and inspired songs. But he also says by singing the psalms. If you go into the psalms, there are so many psalms of thanksgiving. The psalmist who pray, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his love endures forever. Let the sons of Israel say, his love endures forever. Let the sons of Aaron say, his love. There are many prayers of thanksgiving in the psalms. So we can use music, we can use the psalms, we can use vocal prayer, but praying prayers of thanksgiving and be thankful. It will interest you to know that that was one sentence on its own. Always be thankful, full stop. 
So I want you to just think through your own selves. Am I thankful enough? There could be two reasons why we will not be thankful enough. One is to take whatever God does for us for granted, thinking it is our right. But friends, before God, we only have privileges. So never take anything you enjoy for granted. Be thankful. The other reason is also could be that we think that God should do more. And because God should do more, we don't appreciate what he has done. God, would, would, our, our human desires are not always satiable. But friends, it pays to be grateful for what God keeps doing for us. Always be thankful. Let your thanksgiving be many and your petitions few.